my redeemer. Oh yes, and let and this life we didn't make cry. I know my redeemer lives. Just worship Lord your own very way tonight. Give God praise. Our Lord is not dead, he's alive. Oh, there is a victory in the house tonight. There is victory in the house of God this evening. Let all creation testify. Let everything that has breath. Oh, I don't care how tired you are, but let everything that has breath this evening. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, let everything, let everything. Oh, let all creation testify. Let us lie. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're feeling good this evening. You feel wonderful. You feel wonderful. You feel wonderful. I, I need to feel that vibration. You feel wonderful. Hallelujah. Give God a shout of praise in here. Give God a big shout of hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Come on, all one Christian soldiers. We are marching to victory. Oh my. Blessed be his holy name. Suddenly good to be here once again this evening. You appreciate the love for this afternoon and this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's turn to our Bibles tonight. Amen. Psalms 24. Psalms 24. Amen. Going to read from verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had clean hands and a pure heart who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is a generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even leave them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is a King of glory. The Lord of hosts. He is a King of glory. Oh, may he add a blessing to the reading of his holy word. To pray. Almighty God. Lord, it's indeed a great privilege to be here this weekend, Father. We see your glory. We see the manifestation of your power. Lord, the fulfillment of your promises, O oh God. Father, the presence of God walking in our midst, doing that same walk. O oh God Almighty, we are so unworthy, Father. But Lord, here, your blessings has been pouring out upon us. Lord, from Friday morning and Lord, to this very hour, our cup run it over, Father. Lord, that's how much we need you, Father. We never want, want to depart from that presence, oh God. And tonight, 
We are under expectation. We believe that all things are possible. Oh God Almighty Lord, we don't care what our body tells us Lord, we don't care how we feel, we don't care Father, Lord what our minds, Lord is, is, is going, what is going through our minds oh Father, but we, want, we, we have our eyes fixed on that promise to know that that unfailing God that made that, that unfailing promise is more than able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think. Thank you for this great time we are having in your presence, oh God. Thank you for the vessels you've used already. And Lord, tonight we know that all things are possible. When you open up the windows of heaven, touch your people once again. Lift us higher than where we were before. Give us a spiritual understanding, Lord. Oh, God Almighty, may the Holy Ghost jump down here. Lord, to unite our minds together. To give us that supernatural visitation. Those dynamics. Is go for God that your people can never, never, never remain the same again. Bless us abundantly, Father. Bless the vessel you're going to use this evening, Father. We commit all things into your hands, oh God. Whatever channel you're going to use, Father, we pray, Lord God, that it may be opened up to you this evening, Father. Lord, we open our hearts to you, Lord, that the King of glory might write into us one more time. Lord Jesus, we give all the glory and praise your holy name. Bless everything that we said and done here tonight. We'll be careful to give you all praise and all the glory and honor at the end of this service. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and that's it. And the church say amen. amen. Let the bride say. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God a hand of praise. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Turn around. Welcome somebody to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hosanna in the highest. Let our King be lifted Everybody say, Oh, in the highest. Let our king be lifted high. Oh, 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 lift your hands and close your eyes. Let's sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna in the Hallelujah. Oh, let our game be lifted high. Oh, 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 Hosanna. Lift your voice and sing, oh, in the high. Oh, let our King be lifted high, oh, Zion. You just worship God as you raise your hands to Calvary. Oh, Hosanna to the King of Kings. He alone is worthy to be praised. He alone is worthy to be exalted. Let my King be leave it up. Oh, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let me hear the people singing now. Hosanna. Sing home. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, yes. Oh, yes. Let our king be lifted high. Yes, oh, oh, 
Oh, sounds wonderful. Let's sing it again. Hosanna, sing. Oh. Hey. In a high. Let's be lifted high, oh, oh Just take a picture of the heavenly throne tonight. You see the angels as they flap their wings and worship to the king lamb. The 24 elders who is worthy to take the book. That's to the bloody, bleeding lamb. The king of glory. The lamb of Calvary. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Let our king be lifted high. Oh, oh, oh. Give God praise. Give God praise this evening. Oh, 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 yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You feel his presence in the house. You feel the waves of his glory. You feel the waves of the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be his holy name. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty. He's a mighty God. Oh, sing it. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, what a mighty God. Hmm. Yeah, what a mighty God. Jesus said, Jesus is, oh, Jesus is a God, oh, Jesus is, Jesus is, oh, sing it again, Jesus says, Jesus is, mm, yeah, oh, my Jesus says, oh, Jesus is, what do we do? Let us sing, let us sing and praise the Lord. Oh, let us sing and praise. Oh, you are free. Let us sing. to the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's sing and praise the name of the Lord. That's why we're here this evening. Amen. What a blessing. And I'm sure that by the end of these uh, meetings, every wig of your life is going to be soaked. Amen. And the oil of the Holy Spirit. And you will go with the revival fire. Amen. You will not lack any revival in your life. Because your wig is already soaked and the fire will keep burning. Because the Lord is going to visit us and he's already visiting us. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Amen. Um, just a thanksgiving, I mean a, a special thanks from Sister Ngozi Okoro. So I thank God for the inspiration given to my pastor to call for this convention and for the revival of fire that is burning in my heart throughout last night, this morning, and continuously. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And um, from Brother Stephen Usumoke, Local Christian Assembly, Umwaka. Thanking the Lord for his blessings in these meetings 
and for the tool he's using to bless his people, for the host pastor and the church here, for uh, releasing more blessings and for releasing our precious brother Moses Ajukwago from the hand of the evil man. To God be praised. Amen. Uh, this is coming from Pastor Christian Iriri, Ejemeku Church. Um, we thank the Lord for his care and mercy upon the church, for his revelation and the election, which has made us the church to be here, and also for Newi Church and all the elects in the meeting. Asking God for the Holy Ghost baptism in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sister Ifoman Sobondo, also for the inspiration given to our pastor to call for this meeting and for the blessings in this meeting, I thank him for his grace and strength given to me to be in this meeting. Amen. Amen. While we bow down, down our heads and close our eyes. I have this uh, request from Brother Stephen Osuoke asking for more of his blessings in this meeting and for traveling mercies back to our respective sessions. I want God to take full control of my children and family and my daughter-in-laws and her husband. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you this evening again. Lord God, it's hard for us to depart. Lord, we want to continue, Father, because, Lord, you are feeding us, oh God, with a wonderful menu. Lord, and we are glutons, and we are, cannot be satisfied. We are eating, and we continue to eat. Father, we thank you, Lord, for dipping us down in the deep revelation of your word. We thank you for the mystery being revealed. We thank you for the threefold mystery that is revealed to the bride to know herself. Lord, we thank you. Now we can stand gallantly, Father, and tell the devil where he belongs. We thank you for these wonderful preachers, Lord, that have come are behind this pulpit and spoken to us, Lord. Thank you for using them, Lord, to strengthen us and, Father, to make the fire continue to burn. And, Lord, we also commit this evening service one more time. Lord, in your mighty hand, bless your servants and the tools you are going to use tonight, Lord. Father, that the, 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 the anointing will be higher and higher, Lord. We will never lack testimony. We will never lack the inspiration. Father, visit one more, us one more time and receive our praises and our songs and all that we are going to do. We don't have silver nor gold, but we have to thank you with our songs and Lord and praises receive in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 We lift our hands to you. Lord, we lift our hands to you.
praise your holy name. We praise. Oh, yes, Lord, and we praise your holy name. Oh, That's what we've come to do tonight. Oh, yes, Lord, and we praise your holy name. Don't you love the Lord? Don't you love the Lord Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Turn around one more time. Turn, look somebody in the eye. God bless you, my brother. Amen. What a fellowship we're having here this weekend. What a mighty time in God's presence.
feel like traveling on. Oh, I feel like traveling on. Oh, my heavenly home is bright. You can't help but testify. Oh, yes, I feel it. Oh, I feel like traveling on. stop you now oh my yes I feel it I feel as a children of choir come forward well yes I feel like trying Jesus never fails. Oh, Jesus never fails. You know. Jesus never fails. He never. Oh, my. And Jesus never fails. Oh. Oh, he never fails. Oh, he never fails. You know that heaven and earth will pass away. Oh, give God a shout of praise. Oh, my, he never fell. My heaven and earth. Now, let me see you put those hands together. Come on now. One more time, Jesus never fails. You know heaven and earth. I want the devil to hear me singing now. Sing it again, oh Jesus never fails. Shout it all. You know that the heaven and earth will pass away. Now, if you sing it now, sing with every alacrity. Sing, Jesus never. Let me hear you. Sing it. He never fails. For the last time now, we sing, Jesus never. Oh, heaven and earth will pass away, but Jesus, he never fails. Can I hear the voice of the redeemed? Can I hear the voice of the redeemed? Hallelujah. You know that you know that you know that you know that Jesus can never fail. He said that everything else will pass away, but my word can never pass away. That's why you have to praise him now. Give him a shout one more time. That is some 50%. Give God a shout of praise. That's 80%. Give God a shout of praise. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. The children's choir is going to sing a song titled Victory in Jesus.
I heard an old whole story how a Savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning of his precious blood at owning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. His healing of his cleansing power revealing how he made the lame to walk again and caused the blind to see. And then I cried, Your yeah, Jesus, please come and heal my broken spirit. And so now Jesus came and brought to me the victory.
my. Oh, keep shouting the victory. Keep shouting the victory. He plunged me. He brought me. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. The devil said you can't shout. Tell, shut up, devil. I'm going to shout anyhow. I'm going to make a joyful noise to the Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 You know the devil came to this meeting thinking to find any unbelief around. He went to the back. All he see was fire. He came to the front. All he see was fire. He went to the side. He saw fire. He went to the side. He saw fire. He went to the empty seat. All he saw was angels. We are standing in the right place this evening. No seat for unbelief. No seat for any doubt. God is more than able tonight to give you that victory. Give God a shout one more time. It is fire, fire, fire. Fire all over the building. No sit for unbelief. It's fire in the house tonight. Glory to God, amen. Oh my Jesus. You appreciate the fire tonight? That was beautiful. Victory in Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Let's sing, I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. How many can see that he is here this evening? You know that you know who he is. By revelation, he has unfolded himself unto you this weekend. Just raise your hands and close your eyes. I know the master of the wind. Oh, I know the maker of the rain. Song to shine again. I know. Oh, lift your voice and lift your hands, sing it now. I Shine again. Oh, I know the master of the way. Oh, one more time. For everybody say, Yes, I know. Oh, I know. I made a song to shine again. I know the master of the wind. He can calm the storm, he can calm. I made a song to shine. Oh, I know. He can calm the storm. I made a song to shine again. Oh, I know the master of the way. Yes, Lord. Strong, he 
it shall forever more endure the saints and angels song oh love of God how many Strong. Oh, we shall forever more into the saints and angels song. The love of God is great of fire. Then song of pain can ever tell it goes beyond the highest star and it reaches to the lowest hell. The pain. God gave his son to win his every shot. He reconciled and pardoned from his sins. Good will with him. The old and fear and where the skies of dash men may wherever restore honor a king and every man has cried by trade to write the love of God above would drain the ocean dry nor could the scroll contain the whole the stretch from sky to sky. Sing, O oh, love of God. Think about it. Oh, how majorless. And it shall forever. So, shall we raise our hands? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless.
Blessed be his wonderful name. Give him praise tonight. Raise your voices. Don't hold anything back. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be worshipped. Amen. Give him the best you have. He gave us the best. You can give him the best tonight. Give him your all. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be worshipped. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be glorified. The Lamb is worthy. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. Turn around, shake somebody's hand. Welcome your brothers and sisters to this wonderful service tonight. Lifted, 
love lifted me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Glory, give him praise. You appreciate the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The songwriter says, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. Amen. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. A wretch like me. A nobody like me. A trash like me. But I thank God for the power of, of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. That could go to the dust being and pick up the trash. Amen. Pick up the cup, justify it by faith. Amen. Sanctify it through the washing of the water of the world. Amen. Keep it aside for service. Fill it with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I believe this night, amen, the same God that chose you is here to fulfill his purpose in your life. God never brought you this far to leave you. Amen. He's going to, he's going to give you your heart desires. Do you believe that? You appreciate the services this morning and this afternoon. Praise God. And I, I believe you are under expectation tonight. Are you? God we can do it again. And again. And again. Do you believe he can do it? There's no reason. Church, I say, even if he has not done it for me, I know he has done it for others. So I will keep thanking him for what he has done for others and my own will come. God answer prayers. If he has not answered you yet, but he answers prayers. I have seen people that God answered their prayers. So I will keep thanking God for them and then he will answer mine. So let's give the Lord praise tonight. He's been so good to us. He's been so wonderful. Amen. But Abraham said he is those seals. He is the one that opened those seals. And he is those seals. Because every word of God is Jesus Christ. Amen. And Christ is moving into you in the power of his word. To take his abode in your heart. Amen. So the word becomes flesh in us. For the resurrection and for the rapture. God richly bless you. Amen. It's been wonderful fellowshiping together. And what a blessing God has been pouring down on us. And tonight, I'm full of expectation. I have a preacher here tonight. Amen. Our precious brother, Brother um, Anane Chukujama. Those of us in the 80s, is not a new person to us. Amen. He was a young man in this message. Like um, Brother Caleb was saying, you know, um, uh, 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 back in those 80s, most of us were young, young people. And then you see young men with fire in their hearts. With the love of God in them. Amen. Singing and praising God. Not, ju not just a guy man, you know. Um, but I, I hate impersonation. I love something real. Give it the way it is. Uh, anything impersonation or, oh, okay, let's, 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 um, uh, let's do it this way. No. The Holy Ghost leads. The Holy Spirit uses us the way he made us. Amen. We are all made different. And God is a God of varieties. So I don't, I don't like impersonations. I love original. And that's what I enjoyed about Brother Chukujama. In those, back in those 80s, you hear him sing, you know it's coming from the heart. Amen. And God has blessed him so much. Amen. And um, he's, he's a very wonderful friend. And I really love him. And um, I believe it's going to be a great blessing to us tonight. Because I felt the leading in my heart. Amen. To bring him, to ask him to speak for us in this convention. And God just made it that he's at home all the way from New Zealand. Just coming down to Nigeria to be a blessing to us. We appreciate him so much. We appreciate his wife, Sister Tizaba, his children. Amen. Of course, if you don't know, he's brother Enoch's son-in-law. Or maybe you don't know. Amen. Brother Chuku Jama is Brother Enoch's son-in-law. Married to Brother Enoch's first daughter. And Chizaba is a wonderful singer. 
Uh, you ever hear her sing? Yeah. If, you, if, if, if you don't know how to worship, you will be forced to. You see? Oh, come on, come on. God has blessed us, you know. God has blessed us so much. Amen. I thank God that the fire is still burning. It's still burning. It's not going down. It's going higher. Praise the Lord. So God bless you. Amen. Brother Chike, good to see you, my brother. My, all the way from Canada. God bless you. You're welcome. Amen. Brother Nick, God bless you. You appreciate the Lord? So it's my honor tonight to bring to the pulpit God's servant. Amen. A gallant soldier. And it's going to be a blessing. But I don't know Chukujama. So let's sing a song. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgivings, I will be a living sanctuary for you. Just close your eyes. Don't look at the preacher. Look to Jesus Christ. Amen. Anything you expect tonight, God will give it to you. If you can believe it. I said, Lord, I know tonight is my night. I never come to this convention in vain. I'm taking my blessings home. Amen. Just make up your mind and God will give you. He will do exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask or take. So let's close our eyes and look to Jesus Christ as we ask him tonight to make us a sanctuary. Tried and true with thanksgiving I'll be a living sanctuary for you everybody Lord prepare me to be a sanctuary Sing it from the bottom of your heart because it's here to get us ready. For here, have we not continued city? We are going to that home with that city prepared. Hallelujah! Have it, amen. Hallelujah. Tried and true, and it's testing time going on. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this, Lord, great privilege, Lord, you've given to us to come together. We have this one confidence that you say we are two or three are gathered together in you. Uh, Lord God, you are there in their midst. We want to thank you, Lord God, for, Lord, your servant, Brother Isaac of Fortune Bay, his dear wife and family and church, for the inspiration to get us together here. Almighty God, it's been long, God, a um, long journey, Lord. But your grace has been sufficient, Lord. Thank you for the services, Lord, from, the, from yesterday, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, the key uh, message that kidding the inspiration for this conversation. Oh, God, for our brother, host pastor, brother, 
uh, unfortunately, Lord, and we are coming came behind him, Lord, and uh, this morning and afternoon service, and here we are today. Lord God Almighty, we know we, you are not done with us, with us yet, Lord. yet, Lord. There is still something in store. Lord, I want to pray that you will come and help us, Lord. Lord, take me out of the way. Hide me behind the cross, Father. Lord Jesus, take my mind away and let the mind of Christ drop down and speak the word of God to your people, Father. Lord Jesus, my desire tonight is that, Lord, those who come here sick will not go out, out sick. Lord, those who are battling for issues in their lives, Lord, only you has the answer of peace. And they will go out of here changed, delivered, Lord. You know that special need, Lord. You know that burden, oh God, in their hearts, oh God. Come down, Lord, and meet it, Father. Lord, may those who are not being filled with the Holy Ghost, Father, we pray. Lord, that you will fill them with the Holy Ghost. We pray for the young people, oh God, Father. Lord Jesus, who maybe we are born in the church and grew up to know the words of the message and so on and so forth. But Lord, they need the Holy Ghost. May tonight be their night, O oh God. Lord, those who have been filled, may they be refilled, O oh God. Lord Jesus, the, the, the old timers, they're, they're laboring, O oh God, through the thick and thin and the trials of life, but they are still holding on, Father. I pray that you renew their youth tonight like an eagle, Father. Lord, refresh your servant, brother uh, Isaac of Fortune, Lord. For Lord God be tired and weary, but Lord be his strength and all the officers and all the musicians and the song leaders and the singers, they've labored so much to be a blessing to us, Lord. May you bless them too, Father. Lord, have your way tonight, Lord God, as we bask in your presence, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Shake somebody and have your seat. Praise be to God. Amen, 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 amen. Well, I want to start uh, uh, to bring my greetings so on behalf of my dear wife, Sir Chizaba, and my family, my daughter, Pearl, is here. Um, we we'll say we are very uh, happy to be here. Um, and also, Lord, uh, also to appreciate Brother Isaac for the confidence to, to bring me behind his pulpit. A host pastor, I appreciate that. And um, yes, sir. Uh, Amen. I also appreciate my sister-in-law, Sir Chiwenke, and uh, Sister Debbie, my um, brother-in-law's wife, as Uche, who is now the pastor of Little Flock Christian Assembly. I think she's uh, in Jalingo. Uh, they are uh, blessing the people there. And some of the brethren from um, Little Flock Christian Assembly are here too. Uh, so I, um, we bring our, uh, we certainly appreciate you, brother, brother uh, Isaac. I see what's, what's this opportunity to thank Brother Isaac for the um, he gave the family during the uh, time my father-in-law passed up, passed away. You know, you have real friends. When, when you know real friends is when in a time of difficulty. That's why you know real friends. Brother Isaac, your dear wife, we appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise be to God. I also want to appreciate uh, the Isaac children. My mind was blown to see how they stood behind their father. My goodness. Thank you, my brothers. And keep the fire burning. Hallelujah. And and Brother Isaac, I was in that role, and I could, when the worship was going on, it was like the angels singing. I can see them from all their heart. God bless you. Um, um, can we give, put our hands together for them? Praise be to God. Amen. And thank you for, for the food, for the drink. It doesn't come easy. 
but they have to go all their way out to make sure that our stomachs are not empty. Shall we put our hands together for them that may God reward from every source, every penny, amen, every cobra contributed. May God bless and reward from that source. For you are washed the feet of the saints and you will not lose, lose your reward. Praise be to God. Amen. So, sisters and the pastors that came, came um, uh, to, uh, to support the ministry, the, 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 the meeting, um, and those that um, uh, spoke, um, well, Isaac spoke the key, uh, key the, the, the meeting. Amen. Praise be to God. Uh, and, and I spoke about the Holy Spirit, which we need today. And I will say, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, don't rest day and night until you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't take no for an answer. I would rather, I would rather be on my knees, pray for the Holy Ghost, let the Lord come and see me. Do you understand what I said? I'd rather be on my knees, so don't say, I prayed about this, the Holy Ghost, 10 years ago. I've not got, got, I've not had it. No. Amen. So in other words, don't be discouraged. Amen. Because it's your promise, and we need it. Amen. We're in a fierce battle. We can't do without the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I will refuse to settle as a church member. I will refuse to lean on some gifts. Or oh, I'm a good singer. I'm in good terms with a pastor. And so on and so forth. No, that will not do it when the storm comes. When the pressure comes. Because it's going to come. But if you're on the sudden rock of the word of God, the Holy Spirit will sustain you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. So, um, it's the grace of God has kept us all these years. I was, um, I was 20 years old, uh, going to 21, in the University of Nigeria, in the medical school, when God revealed this message to me. And, and brothers and sisters, from that time to today, if I'm to look back, I will do it again. I will live for Jesus again. So I live for Jesus as a young man. I live for Jesus as a bachelor. I live for Jesus as a married man. I live for Jesus as a father. Amen. I'm hopefully by God's grace, I will live for Jesus as a grand as a grandfather. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Let us go home. Go to God. Amen. There is nothing in this world that can be compared to the love of Jesus Christ. Be seated. So I thank God for uh, Brother Kemita's message on uh, evening yesterday. I say that he gave a testimony of a true witness. And the fire came down. But look at it, but brother, uh, uh, brother Isaac spoke about the Holy Spirit. So when you have, when you have seen with the Holy Ghost, then the next is testing time. Don't forget it. Testing time to see your attitude to your father's business. Amen. To see your reaction to action. And when you prove a son, a daughter, then the commander said, you are predestined unto adoption of sons of God. Then your words becomes a command. Brother, what do you need? Oh, I've left my crop and there's no rain. I give you rain. Hallelujah. When the press come down, then watch the thoughtful, the spoken word. 
Amen. It's so real. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my. Okay. All right. So um, let's get to the word. Um, could you kind of stand up on your feet? Um, so I uh, greet everyone from wherever you come from. You are much appreciated. The Lord, Lord appreciate for being here. And um, you will not go empty-handed. Amen. Amen. So my title this evening is, Here Have We No Continuing City. And it is true. Put it in your heart, in the daytime, the nighttime, in the valley, on the mountain, when things are so hard that you're almost going to give up. Put it in your head. Hallelujah. That here have you no continuous city. Amen. So Hebrews 11 verse 8. Hebrews 11. I'll read the first verse. We'll pray. You can sit down because you've been, you've been getting tired now. <laughs> you got it? All right. So Hebrews chapter 11 verse 8. By faith Abraham... When he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, 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 and he went out not knowing whether he went. May God have blessing to read of his word in Jesus Christ's name. As you get seated, just continue. Amen. I also want to appreciate our brother Chike, old time friend. Amen. God bless you. I was so glad to see you. Amen. Old times from back then, you know, <laughs> we all grew up as young men in this message. And, and Brother Moses and different ones, God, God richly bless you. I also appreciate my, my friend, Brother Joseph Amma and his dear wife, um, family. Praise the Lord. So, verse um, uh, 9 By faith, he sojourns in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles. With Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, a city where there's no death, a city where there's no growing old, there's no sorrow there, there's no pain there, there's no sickness there, there's no tears to dim our eyes. Hallelujah. Hey, this city has foundations. Whose builder, whose architect, designer, and maker is God? Is it worth going there? Is it worth going there? Is it worth sacrificing everything else? And hear that? Praise be to God. Verse 13, these all died in faith. So they were pressing. They were pressing. Praise God. And, and Abraham Church, lots of. Amen. Lost my father in law. Wow. Lost brother Ifani. Lost brother Sinke. I saw it, brother. Yes, Sinke, yes. You know, they were holding on the faith. Okay. So having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on this earth. For they that say your friend is if they are not sure, then you have not declared yourself. Your friends in your job will know where you are standing. Amen. Your friends in your business circles will know where you're standing. Okay. So, that uh, confess that they are strangers and pilgrims on earth. For they say such, for, for they that say such things declare the country. And truly, if they have been mindful of that country from whence they came from, 
If you say, okay, only we're making it, I'll turn my back. But the Bible says, he that lays his hand on the plow and turns back is not worthy for that city. Amen. Amen. <laughs> my, verse 15. Okay, I think I've read that. My. So, they, my, uh, verse 15, and truly if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to, to have returned. But now they desire a better country. That is unheavenly. Hallelujah. I think uh, months or weeks leading to the departure of Pastor Okeke, he was, he was emphasizing, let's go to... For in heaven, there's no backbiting. In heaven, there's no ibuilo. And what are you building in heaven? Yeah, for Obama. Oh, I have no mission to break. I have no mission to break. Just to exhort you. As I'm exhorting you, I'm exhorting myself. And together, we're going to make it. Amen. So, and heavenly. Wherefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Now, if God is not ashamed to call you his, why should I be ashamed to call him mine? Hallelujah. To tell my friends, I'm a son of God. I'm a daughter of God. I don't do this. I don't drink. I don't go to night parties. I don't smoke. Amen. If you're going to like me, like me for what I am. A son of God, if you don't, so far my father likes me, that's all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says in the adoption time, he looks for the, he sent his, um, uh, uh, the inspector to look for the son's behavior, your action, your reaction to the father's business. What is father's business? To go in manifesting the points for your day. John 14, 12. John 14, 20. Hallelujah, so on and so forth. Praise be to God. You are not ashamed to be called your God, for, for, he had for he has prepared for them a city. Amen. So turn to Hebrews chapter uh, 13, verse 12. Thank you. Hebrews 13, 12. I will try to be quick. Praise God. Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth, therefore, unto him with the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continued city, but we will seek one to come. Praise be to God. So, like I said, I'm just here to exhort you and um, say a few words about what kind of person we ought to be. What kind of person? Because heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. You don't just walk into the haphazardly. Amen. Okay, so my subject is third exodus. So, um, it's about time we as individuals know whom we are. You know whom God, what God made you. Praise be to God. Amen. I appreciate, I appreciate Sister Sabundo. God bless you, Sister Sabundo. I saw her walking somewhere. God bless you, my sister. And thank you for yesterday. Ma, you sang, oh, just reminded me those early days and the voice, golden voice. Thank you. Amen. It's a challenge to young people now. Come on. If God give you the gift of sing, sing. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise the Lord. Okay. All right. So uh, let us turn to Colossians, Colossians chapter 1. I want to make a comment there. Colossians 1 from verse 15. 
Colossians 1 verse 15 to 18, who is the uh, image of the invincible God, that's Christ, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, kidnappers, unknown government, known government, all things were created by him and for him. All things. Okay. Follow me. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. He is the head of the body. The body, the church. And if he is the head, who is the body? You could tell you, one name. Oh, I knew one. Amen. Praise be to God. You. Okay. Right. Remember, he said all this were created. So you were co head. You were created all these things with him. And if he is the head and you are the body, and all these things we are made for, by him, for, for him and under him. So where is the devil? Under your feet. So why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? your creator. Amen. Your father is watching over you. Like a mother ego. Why do you lose your sleep? Amen, 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 amen. So it's time you come to what God said you are. I mean, it's more than coming to church and just rejoicing. When you go back home, then you settle it one to one with the devil. Satan, you can't torment me with fear. Who are you? One circumstance, it's of fear. Get, me, get away from my heart. Hallelujah. He said, What if the non government kills you? Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is written, Oh, death, where is your sting? Is it not? So, the worst he can do to you is to, is to take your life. But remember, the devil cannot take your life unless God has finished with you. Settled. And then you challenge him. You speak back to him. It's you and him. Oh, there's no brother there. Pastor, Pastor, unfortunately, is not there. Um, sister, unfortunately, is not there to. You know, it's you and God. And you begin to exercise your God given right. Amen. Satan, it is written. You know, the world will defeat the devil any place, anywhere, any condition, anytime. Hallelujah. It is written. It is written. It is written. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? Hallelujah. For the sting of sin is death. Of death is sin. And Christ, today the whole world is remembering that is in the grave. What did he do? The devil made his great mistake to, to sting him and lost his sting. And gave you victory. So, the grave lost his victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Praise be to God. My, my, my. And so, uh, Moses, speaking about we have no continuous city here. We are seeking for one to come. How do you see 
or treat your other, your fellow pilgrim. And I want to read something here for the prophet. It says, Moses esteemed the reproach of Christ. He knew he foresaw him and esteemed his reproach greater riches than all the glamour of the world. Christian f- friends, today, uh, can't you do that by faith? We see him who promised. Now look at this. Listen very carefully to this. And the words, the words of W-O-R-S-E, words of the church today in all of its condition, yet it will outweigh everything a devil can offer you. Do I read again? Oh, I don't know what's going on in this church. Therefore, I, 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 I go to the world. If you are planning that, here is a quote for you. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, I don't know what is what happening in this church. God brings tension in the church. Isn't that the prophet, what the prophet said? Will you tell him how to bring the tension? Mbano. He will choose it. He will let it happen. Here, have we no continued city? We are going to that home. We all must have put up this. No more trials. There will be no more troubles. There will be no more tension in the church. There will be no more all these things. For this is the time. It's testing time. Getting ready for adoption. I read that quote again. And the words of the church today, in all of his condition, yet it will outweigh everything the devil can offer you. So like I said before, heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. He that had this hope purified himself. The Lord said, be thou holy, even as I am holy. Amen. Amen. Don't try to figure out, because that holiness has come to you as the fullness of the word, which you have received. Amen. Amen. Just like your salvation is not what you achieved, it's just faith in that finished work. And so you came, brought to us the, the fullness of the word. And once you receive, listen to this, holiness wasn't a phrase with them. Possible. How do you expect the fish to swim without water or film? So if God gave the bird the, the, the wings to fly and the, 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 the fish, they swim and want to, and to swim, do you think he would just take you and just push into the water and say, be, be that holy? <laughs> so he's already done it. He's already done it's already done. Victory is yours. The battle is over. It's already done. I have overcome. I have overcome. Hallelujah. Oh, let's give a hand to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, send the Holy Ghost tonight, Lord Jesus. Lord, hallelujah. Oh, be seated. They talk on, let no evil come into your mind. Remember, we said we are going to heaven. We are going to heaven. And this is how we are, going, we are marching. Let no evil come to your mind in your thinking. Just dismiss it. You know, this brother is not that. Get, get behind me, Satan. Why? Because the blood for me is my brother. Be seated. When you go to the throne of God, praise God. So you go to the throne of God. Oh, Father, thank you, Lord. Have mercy on me. Forgive my sins, Lord. And you know, I'm sorry for that. Uh, that A, B, C, D, please, Lord. Remember the day of on Calvary when you shed your blood for me. Good prayer. That's what it is. And then that brother that hurt you is, is kneeling beside you. And you are busy. <laughs> this, this. 
you are busy pointing your, your finger to that brother. But that brother is standing also on the same throne of mercy. Or is it Hey, standing on the same throne of mercy. So, why not extend that mercy to him and let go? Hallelujah! Am I making sense? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. The message today is not fire, but that's just what the Lord laid in my heart. Amen. So when you finish all the fire and everything, you go home, you have something to fight these dear devils. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Let no evil come into your mind, your thinking. Just dismiss it. If it knocks on the door, take it away. Just show your token. Just keep walking. I am under the blood. And my brother is under the blood. Amen. I'm not my brother's judge. Only God is the judge. So I leave it at that. Amen. Oh, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Pure and holy, amen. Tried and true. Tried and true. Tried. So everything that has happened that will ever happen is a trial. And you will not tell God how to bring your trial to you. Eh? Open it in and tell her. Make sure you shoulder to shoulder. My, my coat will not, will, will not fit Fit uh, but, uh, but the mother. No. The teller will just sow to fit him. That's how our trials is. So the one that comes to you, aqua, 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 we fit you, fit you. This, God saw that, that dress and dressed you up. Because he knows, he said that no trial will come to you. But if what is coming among men, but with every trial, he makes a way of escape that you will be able to bear it. Let God be true and my flesh be a liar. Let God be true and my emotion be a liar. Hallelujah. Be seated. Thank you. I am under the blood. Remember, maybe young people, you have your peers, you have your friends, you have their ways. And Abraham was demonstrating here and said, there, were, there was a lot of them come by them women that night. The sisters. They said, hey, Lily, some of you come out. We are going to a party tonight. And Lily said, ooh, I am under the blood. I am under the token. I will stay here. My love is my maker. And death is in the land. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are on the third exodus. We are going back home. Amen. To that Eden. Hallelujah. Three for mystery. God, all that was in God appointed to Christ. All that was in Christ appointed into, into uh, Christ appointed the bride. That's what's going on. The marriage is going on now. Amen. Hallelujah. The husband of the world is uniting with his bride. That's the marriage. Rapture is wedding supper. So get your gown here now. Make sure it's not spotted with art, with hatred, with barbarism. No. Amen with uh, 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 whatever the devil wants to do. Get it clean. Praise the Lord. So that's the way it's again today. God is calling his elect people. And they are elected now. Not tomorrow. Now. I'm looking at the letter of God. Washing the blood. And the token is hanging over you. As you open your heart, it drops down. And seals you. And the token is a sign of finished work. The token is a sign of hallelujah ownership. Hallelujah. And a token is a sign, hallelujah, of eternal security. Amen. That's what the prophet said. Amen. 
Praise be to God. Be seated. So that's the way it's again today. God is calling his elect people and they are elected now. And now they are elected for what? For resurrection. Amen. Going to that city. Amen. Hallelujah. Where the lamb is the light. Built by God himself. I cannot wait, man. To hit that city. All the struggle here will be over. Hallelujah. So the first exodus, what did he do? He brought them out of the natural land to a natural land. Second exodus, he brought them out from a spiritual condition into a spiritual baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. And bro, Isaac, the uh, quote they say, what was the Holy Ghost given for? To continue the work of Christ. John 14, 12. Amen. You say, brother, I can't just forgive my brother this. Okay, Funka. I can't forgive this one. He said, the Holy Spirit was given to bring your cans to can. God and your flesh, who will you obey? Hallelujah. I say, Lord, give me grace. I know this is very painful. Well, give me grace to let go. And he will do it. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, um, i give you a testimony. You see that? So, at my work, um, so I had a very rough time. You know, people accused, you know, people brought a false accusation to the point that I was going to lose my practicing license if they had their way. It was so terrible. So, when, I, when that happened, the first thing I did was to, I fell flat on my face and said, Lord, help me not to have one ought against any of them. And the Lord did it. I walk into my work. I will do my job as if nothing is happening. But the fire. Praise God. It's a long story, but just to chip that one in. So God can do it if you allow him. That's why, amen. Amen. That's why I, uh, the Lord inspired me to come this way. So it's good. That's why you're sitting quietly. It's very good. Very good. Because we need to go out of here and, um, and fight a battle. Amen. Amen. So bringing the second essence, bringing, bringing them out from a spiritual condition onto a spiritual baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now he's bringing them from the spiritual baptism of the Holy Spirit right back into eternal land of millennium. And the great year after. Here, have we no continued city? Amen. Amen. We seek for one to come. Amen. Amen. But the real ordained God, the real gene, the, the real gem, a soul of God that was in God before the world began, before the, before the foundation of the world. Remember, you that really got the Holy Spirit in you tonight. You were in Christ. You are here in Christ because he was the fullness of the world. He was the fullness of God here bodily. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Do you believe that? Look, he was in Christ. That if you were in God, a gene, a word, an attribute from the beginning, then, listen to this, then you walked with him here on earth. So when he was here in walking the street of Galilee, you were in him. This, that's what God said. That's the mystery of redemption that being opened to you and I. Oh, I never know. Yes, you were there. You walked with him. Hallelujah. Man, you talked with him on earth. You suffered with him on earth. You died with him at Calvary. 
And you rose with him again. And now, and now, you are sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Blessed with all spiritual blessings, including the Holy Ghost, including joy, including peace. Why do you allow the devil to rob you of your peace? Amen. In your home, create that peace. In your family, husband and wife, create it. Hallelujah. He bless you with all spiritual blessings. We are A of the Father, John here with a song. Don't let the devil rob you. Hallelujah. Man, so when heavenly places communion with him, the word, as it fits, fits into your soul, that man shall not live by the word, that every word that post, uh, Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded. Amen. Amen. And I just want to counsel the young people. Amen. This day of social media, you take, go from Instagram. I'm, I'm not condemning, please. I'm not condemning. So from Instagram to, to Facebook, to WhatsApp, to YouTube, by the time you're finished, you're exhausted. Empty. So why not create time after that for God? For the word. Amen. Amen. Because the, the word is your husband. He whispers to you sweet words and reminding you of battle. But when you are empty, when the wind blows, that's no anchor. Amen. So this is not a shouting message, but amen. The word of God is here to break our chains. Amen. It's all right. It's okay. Amen, 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 amen. My. My, let's, let's do this one. And I want to, if you don't remember anything I said today, remember this one. This one. But if you've got the Holy Ghost, you are God's child. You are Abraham's seed. You got an unconditional covenant written in your heart by God Almighty Himself. Who can't take it back? You can shout on this one now. Hebrews 6 said that, 6 said that God who cannot lie be seated said this one if you got the Holy Spirit you are God's child you are Abraham's seed you got an unconditional covenant in other words it's not if you did this I will do this amen for God to show the unchangedness of his word, his wall. Amen. He didn't have to swear. He just, just said and go walk away. But just to make it doubly sure to you. To you, my brother, my sister. You can just relax. Amen. In his hands. And thank him. Amen. So you have that unconditional covenant written in your heart. By God Almighty himself. Who can take it back? And if God cannot take it back, who can take it back? Who is the devil? Who is your accuser? Because he is very, very, very good at that. The devil is, oh, you did this. You don't deserve the Holy Ghost. Okay, okay, say, the devil, you are a liar. Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is mine. Amen. Adoption is mine. Perfection is mine. Joy is mine. Peace is mine. Hallelujah. He swore that he wouldn't, he wouldn't take it back. Hallelujah. Every promise in the Bible is mine. Hallelujah. So, uh, so things are to be. He said, now we are at the evening time. 
An earthly body is now ready to be dissolved. This earthly body is now ready to be dissolved. And we are preparing to enter into the heavenly. Amen. Amen. That city is going to prepare for us. Amen. Amen. Uh, we now feel the strange call of God to, to go to this great Eden. And before we can be born here, our little bodies cry something for something that's when we were in our mother's womb that has to provide it or we'd be afflicted child here if it wasn't. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why God has sent this message. The friends of the world to prepare you. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's time to say, Lord, I want this word to become flesh in me. Amen. We are both my own ability, my own, you know, reasoning power. Let it be you drop down on me. Amen. amen. Okay, so let's be seated. So as we are all going, I nala, I nala, oh, anywhere, oh. Okay, so kinda na now. This is what the prophet said. So how do you treat your brother or your sister? The prophet said, I take it myself and be, uh, I'm before God as my judge. I put it in the gospel work yonder. So I know that on that day when I will I will have to give an account of my stewardship, it's given correctly. When I give account of my life on this earth, so that's exactly right. Because I realize as I treat the people, I'm treating God. Do you get that? Your own brother in the church, as you treat him, this is prophet, I didn't make it up. As um, I, because I, re, I realize as I treat the people, I'm treating God. Just my attitude towards you is my attitude towards Christ. And you see this sister, I will not forget, forgive her. He said, you won't forget Christ. Praise be to God. I'm a, and your attitude towards me is the same thing. That's right. Towards Christ. For Jesus said, if from your heart you don't forgive every person their transgression, neither does your heavenly Father forgive you. So just get that close. If there's one ought in your heart against any sinner or saint, you are in danger of hellfire. That is very, very serious. Also tread very carefully what you say, what you think. Praise God. For heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. Therefore, I say, unquote, it's time to cut off all those loose feathers. Everything that uh, is unlike him, unlike Christ. And Prophet said in a thousand spirit, let's lay aside every weight. You got a temper, you got something about you, makes you talk about, makes you talk when you ought not to talk. Oh God, say lay there now, lay there. Watch the fire of the altar. Come down and take it away. Watch the love of God leak. Lick it up. Watch all this old selfishness. Now listen, the way you talk to your wife, this is enticing spirit. I'm, I'm not making up. Enticing spirit. The way you talk to your wife, the way you talk to your husband, the way you've been talking to your, uh, about your neighbor, the way you talk about the people in church, Lay it on the altar this morning. Why we are going to heaven. Come on, let's go to heaven. We're going to meet all the saints that come before us. 
who we when he brought Enoch and shook his hands uh, with a common and so on and so forth. Amen, brother Abraham. Amen. Who we'll meet Abraham? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. But this is the way he said we should go. Hey. Praise God. Lay it on the altar this morning and the fire of God will come down and take it right away. And divine love will born in its place. Amen. Divine love Amen. will cap the pyramid Hallelujah. of your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When he sees those virtues, I mean, it's not just having a mental conception of it. Amen. And that life is a thunder that shakes the devil. Not because I say it, it's a manifestation. It's a life lived. Hallelujah. And here's this one. Listen. There will not, this is um, the exposition of the church, seven church ages. The Laodicean church age. Now then, there will not be one person who will sit in the throne of the Lord Jesus Christ unless he has been living the word. Let me read it again. There will not be one person. If you like, be a powerful preacher. If you like, if you sing, uh, you know, you quit to no, no. As my father in law will always say. <laughs> You know, it's good to sing. Please sing, oh. I, lo I love it, amen. But it says, there will not one person who will sit in the throne of the Lord Jesus Christ unless he has been living the word. Your prayers, your fastings, your, rep your repentances, no matter what you present to God, none of that will gain you the privilege of sitting in that throne. It will be granted only to the world bride. As the throne of the king is shared with his queen because she's united with him, so only they who are of the world, even as he is of the world, shall share that throne. Amen. And the prophet said in the rise of the song, he said, as the, as, the, as the bride nears the headstone, she will be in her very image in order to unite together. Hallelujah! I said, therefore, here have we no continued city, for we seek one to come. And if this early tobacco be dissolved, we have one waiting. Hallelujah! Why? Because national force put Israel in her homeland. National force will put the church in the world council of churches. But the power of God tonight will put the people in the prime. The world forces this way. And the world forces that way. But God forces upwards. Hallelujah. The spirit of God, which is the word of God. Hallelujah. My word is love and spirit. We put the bride in her place. Praise be to God. So the voice, amen, will turn to Trump. And this corruptible shall, be put, shall put on incorruption. This mortal shall put on immortality. And death shall be swallowed up in, swallowed up in victory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Lord, prepare me. Missions, I take it by surprise. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Let us bow our heads. Father. Uh, brother, sister, young and old, it is time to pause and take stock. We are going out, out of here, but have you made your reservation? This is a soul searching time. How is your work with the Lord? Are you as dedicated and consecrated to the Lord as you should? How much time do you spend with the Lord? Studying, praying, reading someone's books, seeking his face daily, 
Do you spend most of your time on social media, games, films, with little or no time for the Lord? Starving your soul of your spiritual vitamins. Have you applied a token? He's here tonight to give it to you. For a broken and contrite spirit, I will not despise. Hallelujah. This is time to rededicate your life, yourself and pledge to give it all to the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, prepare me. Would you do like that woman who lost one of, the of her ten tablets? What did she do? She lit a candle. She gave her light. And brother, every little candle in here ought to be lit tonight. She took the broom. The neighbors saw the dust flying. She had a real house cleaning time. For her husband was about to come. And we are in the coming of the Lord. Will he find you wanting? Will you leave your job undone? And if you caught her with one coin out, she was a harlot. Brother, we the church of living God in this great hour that we are now living. It behoves us to check up, go before God, light the candle of the word of the gospel, and examine yourselves and find out if you are falling short. And especially when you see all these things coming, we are at the end time, the coming of Christ at end. Here we have no continuous city, but we have one, amen, whose builder and maker is God. And he's telling us tonight how to be ready to be there. There's no other hope in the world for the church. Oh, I want to cry out, God created me a revival. Let me be the revival, Lord. Let each one of, of us be the revival. Lord, revival in me. Make me, Lord, to hunger. Make me to thirst. Create in me, Lord, that which is needed in me. Let me from this hour, this convention, as I'm living here, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, oh my, be more consecrated servant, a better servant, more blessed, amen, more able, more humbler, more kinder, more willing to work, more looking to the things that are positive, hallelujah, I'm forgetting all things that are past and the negatives, let me press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Lord, prepare me. Thank you. God bless you. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving. Tonight is a night to be a sanctuary 
You can cry and say, Lord, help me. Pure and holy. Make me a sanctuary Tried for you. Tried and true. Wash me clean. Take the word from me. Be a living. Make me sanctuary. A living sanctuary for you. For you. We are going to heaven. Lord, prepare. This world is not our home. To be a sanctuary. Here we have no continuing city. Pure and holy. We sit one. Tried and true. With thanksgiving. I'll be a living. Talk it over with Jesus tonight. Take inventory. For you. Take the broom. Sweep, sweep, let the dust begin to fly. Leaving me until you find those things which you have lost. Leaving me, here's my heart, Lord. Let it be consecrated. Not let this night pass, you. Lord, to thee. Come on, young people. Take my heart, Lord, leave in me, leave in me, Lord, leave in me. Here's my heart, Lord. You can't make it any other way. Me. That's no short Consecrated, Lord, you must come to the door. Take my heart, Lord, leave in me. Leave in me, Lord. Leave in me. Oh, Jesus. Here's my heart, Lord. Oh, Let Jesus. it be. As of hell. Secret. Give way to the name of Jesus Christ. Take my heart. As of hell. Leave Social me. media. What leaders? Leave in me. Lord. Give way. Leave in me. Here's my heart, Lord. Let it be consecrated, Lord, to Thee. Take my heart, Lord. Leave in me. Leave in me, Lord. Leave in me. Pray that with all your heart. Here's my heart, Lord. The Holy Spirit is right now. Let it be. Consecrated. I want to set you free. Lord, to thee. I want to change you. Here's my heart. I want to give you that Lord, experience. That you can go back home and say boldly. Say boldly. Nearer. Nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross. Where thou hast died, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious leading side. Draw me nearer. God resist him. He's putting now to the cross. Something's happening here right now. Delivered by the world. Set free by the world. Yokes have faith. Don't let him pass you by. Make this your night. I am dying, oh Lord. I have heard your voice and told thy love to me. And I 
us alive. Oh, the Holy Spirit is moving right now. Show me near. Hearts are being made yeah. right. Yeah. Wrongs are being made right. Say, Lord. Lives are changing. Should I pray? Decisions are being made. Bleeding. There is a river. Oh, that flows from deep within. Out 
tonight there is such an anointing oh my transformation is taking place right now deliverance is taking place right now oh the captive are being set free oh my god hallelujah this is what we are expecting hallelujah charity to come down and take all the evils out oh god be praised glory to god amen you Lord Jesus we bless your name of God oh yeah mm. oh praise God hallelujah Lord we don't feel like living here, Lord. Oh, Jesus. There is such a flow of your spirit, Lord. Father, no man can produce this, oh God. No bishop can produce this, Father. Lord, Christ is the interpreter of his word. Lord, the pouring out of the Holy Ghost is from you, Father, to prove that your presence is here. The manifestation of the Holy Ghost is that angel. And tonight, Lord, we can feel that power. We can feel that anointing. We can feel the waves of your glory hovering over our souls, calling us to perfection, to be like Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Come, let us reason together, says the Lord. Father, what a communion, what a fellowship, what an anointing. Lord, that's all we want to do, Father. To commune with you, Lord. To be one with you, Father. Lord, like your prophet said, that one day the bride will know who she is and the rapture will take place. We can feel the heaven is here. 
we can feel the atmosphere of your glory, Father. Lord, to prove that you are here today. You are here tonight, Father. We have not heard from any man, Lord, but we have heard from you, Father. Create in me a clean heart, O Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Take all the evils from, out, from us, O God. Give us the heart of Jesus Christ to be like your Father. It's our desire this night, Father, Lord. O God, as we live from here, Father, create an avenue that nothing can come in between you and I, Lord. Nothing can separate us from your love, Father. We don't care what it is, O God. Almighty God, may there be that sweet fellowship with you till Christ will be baited into our souls. It's our desire, Father, Lord. Thank you for using your servant, Lord. Thank you for the anointing that has gone forth already. Oh God, your word can never return to the void, but it must accomplish the purpose you sent it. Thank you for these blessings, oh God. Lord Jesus, it's never late, Lord. Every predestined seed of God must come in, Father. And we are holding on to that promise. Oh my, like your prophet said, may it be you, my Christian brother. May it be you, my Christian sister. Lord, help us, almighty God. More of your grace is what we need to keep contending, to keep believing, to keep holding on to that word, to keep, oh God, marching on till we hit, till we enter in, oh God, fully dressed in that beautiful wedding garment. Lord, help your people, Father. Those that are hungry and thirsty for you, Lord, never pass them by. We believe that you can meet them, oh God, even in their hotel rooms. Lord, you can meet them, Lord, even in their private hours. Oh God, may the revival break out, Father. It's our prayer. That's what we are expecting, Father. And tonight, we can feel that Holy Spirit, Lord, still drawing us closer and closer and closer, Father. May you bless your servant tonight, oh God, and thank you for the inspiration for this meeting, oh God. Our lives can never be the same again. Oh, something got a hold of me. Lord Jesus, we can feel that vibration from heaven. Help us, oh God, with our prayer. Lead us back to our different places, Lord. As we come back again tomorrow morning, Lord, keep us, oh God. Oh God, seeking and hungry and thirsty for more of you, Father. Thank you for all you have done and what you're still going to do. We give all the glory and praise to your name. Bless our host, Pastor. Lord, more of your grace upon him, oh God. Give him more strength, Father. And may you strengthen your people also as we come back again tomorrow morning. May all glory and honor be to your holy name. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I'm proud of Jesus Christ. Say amen. Oh, give God praise tonight. Give God praise. Don't mind who is beside you. Give him praise. Let it be your personal praise. Give God praise. Open your mouth and give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, my Jesus. Give him praise. Give him praise. You're not yet enough. Give him praise, somebody. Praise God. Amen. You appreciate our precious brother this evening. What? My God. Amen. Oh, glory. I believe you're living here with something in your heart this evening. You appreciate the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gives you faith to keep believing. Give you faith to keep holding on. Amen. That faith is what is going to see you through. Amen. Do you believe that tonight? Oh, wave your hands to God and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. God bless you. I know you are happy tonight. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Are you blessed tonight? Brother Jama. I believe we heard from God tonight. Amen. This is direct to our hearts. From God to our hearts. So nobody will say, I, I, I didn't hear. I had everything. Amen. And um, it's a heart-searching time. 
is a lamp trimming time. Amen. Here we have no continuing city. But we're going to that city. We're actually going somewhere. This place is not our home. We're just passing through. Don't forget that. We are going to heaven. <laughs> Amen. We're going up yonder. So, uh, uh, all these things here, we all passed away. And the Bible said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but, but my word shall never pass away. God bless you, brother. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. We have three more services tomorrow. The first service, the door will open by 6 a.m. We actually uh, plan to start by 5.30, but um, we'll, we'll move it to 6 so that um, you can be able to move up from wherever you are. But 6 a.m., the doors will open. At 6.30, the service will start. And um, tomorrow, uh, the, sunrise, <coughs> the sunrise service, <coughs> excuse me, the sunrise service, um, we'll have to... Uh, um, uh, prayer lines tomorrow but the first one is not like a prayer line but <clears throat> it will be dedicated to those who are seeking for the baptism of the Holy Spirit so the ministers will be praying for them, those that are really burdened and need the baptism of the Holy Spirit they will be praying for them tomorrow morning in, in the sunrise service and then <clears throat> the uh, second service will be a prayer line service so for those who are sick and afflicted, you come with, um, normally we like to, if you want to go to the prayer line, then put down your name. So we have an order for that. So put down your names, give it to the, uh, to any of the deacons and indicate that you, you want to uh, pass through the prayer line. And then um, possibly you can put down your case, at least if you like. But the most important thing is to give your name for the prayer line. Then you can also indicate, you know, what your case is. I believe God will meet you at the point of your knees. And then, like I gave the testimony yesterday, we have several series of testimonies from last Easter. What the Lord did, answered prayers, instant healings, chronic cases. Or the so we pray for the sick uh, at the, during the second service tomorrow. And then um, we have the closing service in the evening of tomorrow. God bless you. And please, the pastors and ministers, we, uh, we appreciate if you can drop your names and um, your phone numbers and your church address at the back before you go. If you have a piece of paper, you can write it down and give to uh, Dickens so we can acknowledge your presence tomorrow. Check in with somebody. Tell them I love you. Say it well. <laughs> I, I would like to hear it. I'd like to hear someone to tell me, but I think I love you. There's no compromise there. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, sir. God bless you. Are you happy tonight? Can I see your smiles? Can we make a joyful noise to the Lord? Wonderful. Sounds wonderful. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning. Amen. One more time before we take the offering, one more announcement. Uh, for the booking of the tapes for this convention, for the full uh, services, uh, is 2,500 Naira for the whole tapes. But if you have a selection, maybe you want to book one, one copies of the messages, it's a 300 Naira per copy. So if you're booking all, it's 2,500 Naira, but if you're Making uh, selections is 300 naira per copy. Amen. So that's all.
for the tapes. God bless you. Let, let the brothers come forward for the offering. Let us bow our heads down for word of prayer. Amen. Brother Oliver will lead us in prayers. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It won't be 